with quality sewing and vacuum and I wanted to give you a tip today so you could maybe understand a little bit better about the feet that come with your machine. A lot of times they'll look exactly the same from the top, but when you turn them over and look at the back side, you'll notice that that's where the differences really are. Sometimes they're kind of flat on the back and that's made for regular sewing or for doing a straight stitch or zigzag. And other times they'll have more of a tunnel on the back side or a little bit more area so the buildup of stitches from decorative stitches will still feed evenly. So you'll find that those usually come with your machine. Now if you want to take it one step further, you can get specialty feet. And a lot of times these have a great difference on the back side. Sometimes they're for beading or for piping or whatnot. But the one that I wanted to show you today is called a candle wicking foot. And it's really an interesting foot. It has kind of a um, kind of an hourglass cutout in the front. So it's almost like an open toe, but it's not quite. And it really gives you visibility where you're sewing. But on the back side, it has an extreme tunnel because a candle wicking stitch has an a very large amount of a buildup of thread. Have you ever done candle wicking by, by um, hand? It's where they have like the big French knots. So your machine can replicate that if it has a specialty stitch and it just goes over itself several times. So let's show you how that works. All right, here you're gonna see a couple of, of passes that I've made with a decorative stitch on the machine and these are actually candle wicking stitches. They may look a lot like the star uh, stitch that you have on just about any machine but these are very different because they go over themselves and over the area several times. And if I was using a regular foot on this I would probably have the stitch, the buildup of the stitch actually get kind of caught on the foot and it would just sew in one place. So I'm going to show you how that stitches out. It's a really beautiful stitch. And if you're ever using a decorative stitch and you find that your fabric just isn't progressing through the machine and that it's just balling up in one spot, take a look at your foot and see if you're actually using the right foot that your machine needs for that stitch. Because a lot of times those errors that we have can be simply eliminated by making sure that we're using the proper foot and the proper equipment. Okay, so I'm just going to take this off. Did you see how it's going over itself several times? It's really a pretty neat stitch. And it's beautiful when you add this in for um, on a, as a decorative stitch on a pillow or on a garment. You can even add this in your quilting. It makes a great um, edge for crazy quilting and all sorts of things. Okay, so remember when you're sewing, if you ever have an odd buildup of thread or your fabric just isn't feeding when you're doing a decorative stitch, take a look at your foot and make sure that it's the one that your machine is asking for, for that specific stitch. Because it's all about having the proper equipment, using the proper things if you want the right result. And if you want to do something fun, don't be afraid of getting a decorative uh, stitch foot or something, a specialty foot. They're lots of fun and you'll have a great time and if you're like me, you just have to have them all. So have a good time and just play with your feet and have just a blast. Mm -hmm.